Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging question from radical equations. The given equation is 15th root of x plus square root x square plus 1 plus 15th root of x minus square root x square plus 1 equal to 2. We have to find out real solutions. So x belongs to real number. I will begin this video by our popular substitution. First 15th root I will consider a and second I will consider b. Now I will frame one set of equation. So first of all I can write equation number one. If this is whole term is a, second whole term is b. So I can write first equation a plus b equal to 2. Now second equation which I can write that is a power 15 value that would be equal to x plus square root x square plus 1 and here also I can write for the second term b power 15 that is x minus square root of x square plus 1. Now you can see a plus b a minus b is there so I will consider addition first. So I can frame a power 15 plus b power 15 value. So you can see plus and minus term will be over. So what I will get that is 2x. Okay. Now this is our equation number 3 let me call. So equation number 1 is the most important. Second equation is a power 15 plus b power 15. Now I will take the product a power 15 times b power 15. See what I will get a plus b a minus b let me write directly a square minus b square or let me write one time square root x square plus 1. In other bracket I will write x minus square root x square plus 1. Now you can see a plus b formula a minus b. So I can write a square minus b square. So a square is x square b square is x square plus 1 whole means this bracket is there. Now you can cancel this x square and x square. So what is coming out? That is negative 1. So I can write this negative 1 as negative 1 power 15. So conclusion is coming out. A power 15 times B power 15 equal to negative 1 which I have written negative 1 power 15 so that I can compare both sides. So from here I can write AB equal to negative 1. So overall what I have collected from is this set of equation a plus b equal to 2, a b equal to minus 1 and our target is a power 15 plus b power 15 equal to 2x. So I will calculate a power 15 plus b power 15 then I will put that value equal to 2x from there we will collect x. So let's get started. Let me write equation number 1 a plus b equal to 2. And second useful equation that would be AB equal to minus 1. And where I will target that is A power 15 plus B power 15 equal to 2x. So I will begin with taking a square of equation number 1. So let me write here A plus B whole square equal to 2 square. So I can write A square plus B square plus 2AB equal to 2 square is 4. Now let's apply equation number 2 value. So I can collect from here a square plus b square minus ab is minus 1. So it will be minus 2 equal to 4. So a square plus b square is equal to 6. Done. Now I will consider cube of the same equation. So let me consider a plus b whole cube. So I will write now whole cube both sides. Equation 1 cube. Let me write here cube. Here I took a square. Done. Now a plus b whole cube. a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b. And 2 cube is 8. 
now a cube plus b cube will be equal to let me put here a b value so i can write plus 3 minus 1 and a plus b is 2 so it is equal to 8 so from here i am getting a cube plus b cube equal to 8 plus 6 so 14 task is done a square plus b square is 6 a cube plus b cube is 14. So here we are having two useful equations. Now I will multiply both to collect a power 5 plus b power 5. In this question we cannot use Pascal's triangle because that method would be very very lengthy. Let me multiply a square plus b square is equal to 6 and a cube plus b cube equal to 14. So a square plus b square equal to 6 and a cube plus b cube equal to 14. Let's multiply. So I will write a square plus b square times a cube plus b cube. 14 times 6 is 84. Let's multiply. So I will collect a power 5, b square and b cube. So I will write here directly a power 5 plus b power 5. Now remaining term a square multiplication with b cube. So I will write a square b cube. b square multiplication with a cube. So a cube b square. It is equal to 84. I will again write a power 5 plus b power 5 plus a square b square we will take common out. So what would be left a plus b in the bracket or b plus a also you can write. Now we know that a plus b value we we that is equation number 1 a plus b let me write here equal to 2 and a b was minus 1. So a square b square will be minus 1 square so plus 1. So here I will write plus 1 and here I will write 2. So I am writing directly a power 5 plus b power 5 that value will be equal to 82. Now see our task is to evaluate the value of a power 15 plus b power 15. Once I will calculate this side then I will equate with 2x. From there we can find out the value of x that is our objective. So what I will do here I will consider cubing both sides. So let us consider cube both sides. So I will write a power 5 plus b power 5 whole cube equal to 82 whole cube. Done. Now a plus b whole cube formula. a cube. So a power 15 plus b cube. So b power 15 using exponent property. a power b whole power c equal to a power b c plus 3ab. So I will write a b whole power 5 in bracket a plus b a is here a power 5 okay equal to 82 power 3 let's put the value of a b equal to minus 1 so i can write in the next step a power 15 plus b power 15 plus 3 times minus 1 raised to the power 5 so i will write minus 1 raised to the power 5 a power 5 plus b power 5 is 82 so I will write over there 82 equal to 82 power 3. I will take minus 1 raised to the power 5 is minus 1. So it is minus 3 times 82. So I will write a power 15 plus b power 15. Then I will consider our value minus 3 times 82 equal to 82 whole cube. Then I will take to the right. So I will write a power 15 plus b power 15 equal to 82 power 3 that is 82 cube plus 3 times 82. Now we can take 82 common. So it will become 82 square plus 3. Now left hand side we can write 2x. If you remember it was equation number 3 I, I guess. So let me write a power 15 plus b power 15 that was 2x equation number 3. 
So you will write here 2x and right hand side 82 square is, let me put the value, 6724 plus 3. So 2x is equal to this much. 2x is equal to 82 times 6727. Now once you will multiply these two numbers, you will be having 551. 614 and once you will divide both sides with 2 so let us divide by 2 so x will come out 2,75,804 so this is how we can proceed our question and solve this also I hope this video will be meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care Good night.